Okay. So thank you. Um, thank you students for joining us. Thank you Columbus State faculty for joining us as well. My name is Erica Miller. I am the Community College Regional Manager for Franklin University. And I work specifically with students from Columbus State that are planning on transferring to Franklin. We just have a short presentation this evening to share with you some information um, from both sides as far as the business um, major is concerned. So um, I've just introduced myself. I wanna turn it over to um, Dr. Ross. You wanna introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Dr. Doug Ross and I chair the Business Administration Program at Franklin University and thank you for attending. Sharla, you wanna, you wanna take over? <laughs> Sure. Introduction. Sure. Um, my name is Charla Fraley, and um, I am the coordinator of the business management program at Columbus State, as well as um, I um, am a professor and teach quite a few different classes and lead our project management program. And last John. but not least. Yep. <laughs> yeah, my name is John Crable. I'm serving as interim chairperson for business programs this year at Columbus State. Uh, but I, I, I've been at Columbus State for eight years and was brought in for the entrepreneurship program and have taught with Charla for eight years. Great. Thank you, guys. Um, so we're going to start with just some information, general information on um, Franklin. Hopefully you're already aware of Franklin University. We're right down the street from Columbus State. Um, you can almost walk there. Um, we, <laughs> sometimes we do, actually. Um, we were founded in 1902. We're a private nonprofit uh, university, and we have degrees at every level, undergrad, graduate, and doctoral programs. We really um, pride ourselves on two aspects, being transfer-friendly and being adult-centered. And I will go into the transfer-friendly aspect in just a moment. But as far as adult-centered is concerned, what that means is basically we are constantly thinking about um, how this will affect our students as working adults, every decision that we make. So just to give you an example, um, most of our classes are six weeks long. And the reason we do that is because if you have three six week classes, they could actually run back to back. You could take them one at a time. And that would be a full time schedule, which is really difficult sometimes when you're a working adult. So those are the kind of decisions that we're making to support our, our population. As far as, I think I'm hitting the wrong slide. Yep, I am. <laughs> Bear with me. No matter how much we Zoom, we still mess it up. Um, <laughs> so as far as transfer friendly is concerned, that's where our community college partnerships um, come into play. And that's why we're here today with Sharla and Jonathan, because um, we have the partnership with Columbus State. And that means that you're gonna transfer more credit hours and it also means you can be a part of what's called a three plus one program with Franklin. And I'll go into more depth about that as well. At this point though, I wanna turn it over to uh, Jonathan and Charla to give you some information about Columbus State. Well, I think the first thing that I would say, especially when it comes to any transfer program or looking to, to take what you've learned at Columbus State and, and go to a four year program, uh, the I think the best thing that we have seen in working with Franklin University is that everything is very intentional. Um, these programs are not put together in a short period of time and, and hope that uh, the content or the, the transferability sticks. Uh, th these are year long processes that, that go back and forth between faculty, looking at courses, looking at uh, how content is developed and provided to students in a variety of teaching formats. And then as, as we go forward, when things change, because curriculum always changes and content always updates, uh, we are very open and very communicative with, with Franklin. Uh, and, and so that allows our students to have a very seamless transition uh, from taking Columbus State courses one semester and ease right into the Franklin model the next, uh, ne next go around. Uh, so, you know, when, when, when you're looking for that, yes, we're close. And, and yes, we share the same, I don't know, geographical black region of downtown Columbus. But I think I would really focus on the intentionality of what that looks like and what that means for your learning experience. Charlotte, what are your thoughts? 
Yep, I definitely second that, John. I think that um, we work really closely to make sure that our programs fit together um, and to, uh, uh, to allow that process to be seamless. And just, you know, on another thought, it, I just think it's so important for students to get a bachelor's degree, you know, and it, it doesn't mean that you have to get it immediately after your associate. It may be something that's longer term goal in your life, but but I think that process of, of obtaining your bachelor's degree is critical. It's gonna enhance your um, your development and your, your career in the long term, and of course your earnings. I think if um, Erica goes to the next slide, you'll see um, those are our uh, advisors and maybe uh, some of you have spoken with Marcy or Mary Bond. And so that's a really important part um, of the process very early on to meet with our advisors and make sure that you let them know that you're thinking about transferring uh, to Franklin and that you want to make sure that you take the appropriate technical electives and you have that process really uh, planned out so that it will be a really easy process for you. And they'll, they'll be uh, welcome you to help you with um, looking through that. So they're great assets to our program. Great. Um, I just want to second um, how great Marcy and Mary are. <laughs> um, if those are your advisors, you should definitely be working with them. They know so much information. And if you're thinking about Franklin, I always say they know as much as I do. Um, they really do have it down. Um, so talking about this uh, three plus one program, basically, hopefully you've heard of this already, but what a three plus one is, um, the, the bachelor's degree is four years. So basically our three plus one program allows you to take three of the four years at Columbus State at Columbus State prices. So once you finish your associate degree, and you enroll at Franklin, we'll tell you, you know, this course at Columbus State counts for this course with us. So we make a plan for you. So you really only have to do 30 hours um, at Franklin University. And, you know, I can show at, you know, if anyone's interested, I can show you how that breaks down on a plan of study, but Columbus State has almost every single class that Franklin needs available. So you really can switch, um, you know, maximum flexibility. Um, one of the things that's nice, if you're the type that you're like, I want to take this course online, you could take it with us. If you want to take it in person, you can absolutely take it at Columbus State. You have so much flexibility with this major. Um, so cost, another important aspect of your decision making. So the graphic to the left shows you the average tuition cost for a nonprofit private university for one year is about 35,000. Franklin University were 398 a credit hour, which means you're looking at about 12,000 for a year at Franklin. So it's already a, a good cost savings by considering Franklin, but then if you're doing the three plus one, you're looking at an even bigger cost savings. So if we go back to the private four-year school, uh, looking at that number at the bottom there, if you did all four years at the private university, you'd be looking at a bachelor's degree for $143,000. That's a lot, <laughs> um, obviously. Even if you did four years at Franklin University, you're still getting a significant cost savings because you're looking at about 49,000. That's the line above. But you guys are so extra super smart that you decided to go to Columbus State. And so you're actually the second line from the top there that shows three years at the community college and then you just do the one year with us. So you're looking at a bachelor's degree for about $30,000. At this point, I'm gonna turn it over to Dr. Ross and he's gonna give you some additional information about Franklin's business program. Thank you. Uh, you know, when we think about business administration, and we think about a degree in that, uh, this is a, a functional generalist degree, which means that you have an opportunity to go into many different areas. And when we think about uh, business administration as, a, as a, an aggregate, we're looking at an uh, increase of 12% coming up you know, but by 2029, which is a lot. And I think that it's one of the uh, best programs that you can get for any student that you wanna go into business. I mean, a lot of us know we wanna go into accounting or you know, HR, but many of us don't. We think, you know, we just wanna be in business and this is the best degree you can get for that. If we go to the next slide, please. 
Sorry, give me one second. I'm, you know, I'm slow with the slides. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And here again, we're looking at, um, for me, business administration is extremely flexible. I, I mean, it is valued in every industry there is, whether it is healthcare or, you know, e-commerce, it doesn't matter. You know, we really need business administration people out there to, to help run our businesses, right? Keep our economy going. And when we look at this, I mean, we've got another a million jobs coming up uh, in the future for this one. So if we could go to the next slide, please. And this is, uh, Eric has touched on this, but I just want to, to do this again. You know, here are the, the breakdown of what it takes to get a bachelor's degree. But we are extremely transfer friendly. And that's because we've looked at the programs and the people at Columbus State and they are top notch. And there's no reason not to take those credits. And so what we do is we work very closely with them um, and anything that they are, are using or they're teaching um, meets our requirements. I mean, it's, it's really a great school and great people there. So, you know, I just wanna make sure that you know that when you go to Columbus State and you're taking these classes from these individuals, not only are you getting a great education, but all of that will come back to us as far as Franklin's concerned, if you wanna go on for your bachelor's. And that's a, I think that's a major distinction. Um, and the other thing is that we've done a lot of work recently in our minors. And what we see is uh, you can personalize your BSAT degree. So if you don't know exactly what you wanna do, or if you say, you know, okay, I wanna, I wanna get my, my bachelor's, but I'm kind of interested in HR, well then get a minor. I mean, all it takes is uh, four classes basically, and two of those can transfer in from Columbus State. So, I mean, it's just like a, you know, a, a terrific thing that you can get a minor and we have 23 of them. So just basically any, any area you wanna go into, uh, working with Columbus State and then coming to, to Franklin, you can get a BSAD with a minor and really help your career aspirations. Okay, oh, I, I, I wasn't sure which slide we were at. Are, were you done, Doug? I don't yeah. wanna cut you off. Yeah, I okay. just, uh, <laughs> Sorry. I just, you know, it's just so important for students to realize that, you know, once they get their associates, I mean, that opens up a lot of doors. And if they do want to go on for their bachelor's, I think that with the relationship we have, Franklin is the place to go. And um, to segue to the next slide, um, that's not just Doug's opinion. That's <laughs> actually been proven. Um, we like to say Franklin's number one. Um, a number of different sites have said, you know, especially in the business majors, um, especially in the online sector, we are really, um, very successful at what we do. The other thing um, you have to think about, oh, see, wrong way, sorry. Bear with me, people. The other thing you have to think about as far as um, your choice of going on to another school is what's gonna fit your life. Um, and one of the things, again, we're very proud of is the fact that we cater to working adults. What that looks like is the graphic to the left, all those things are just included as, as a part of your experience at Franklin. So you're gonna get personalized academic advising. Um, the 398 that we mentioned as far as our tuition costs, that's the cost. There's nothing additional. Um, there's no you know, online fees or in-person fees or library fees or whatever else, that's the total cost. Um, we have evening courses because again, we care about working adults. So if you decide to take a class in person with us, it's gonna meet once a week and it's gonna meet from five o'clock on or on the weekends. You're never gonna have any day classes with us. If you say, yeah, Erica, that sounds pretty good, but I still don't wanna come on campus. Absolutely okay, you can take the entire degree online. Um, you never have to come on campus if you don't want to at Franklin. 
We have a credit transfer tool on our website if you'd be interested in checking that out. Um, this tool is really great for students that might have other schools besides Columbus State. So if you've transferred a couple times or you know, maybe you started out at one school and you're like, I don't know if it's worth you know, mentioning the semester I went to this school, um, you can plug it into our transfer credit tool and we'll tell you if it's gonna count, where it's gonna count, how much money you'll save, what majors you should consider with the classes that you already have. Um, this tool is not actually my personal favorite just because um, coming from Columbus State, we already know the answer to all those questions about what's gonna transfer. Everything's gonna transfer. Um, the only thing we don't accept is developmental classes. We even accept some Ds. Um, and I mentioned that because I know some students are super duper excited about that, particularly in those math courses that we all hate. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you never have to worry about if your classes are actually going to transfer. But you know, just in case you have a question, if you wanna hear me say it again, if you wanna, um, drill me on certain classes, feel free to take down my information and we can definitely talk. Um, I have virtual office hours, I have a phone, I have virtual appointments, I have everything. So, um, and I love to talk to students. When we finally get out of this pandemic, I will also be on campus several times a week. So you can see me in live and in living color. Um, so I think at this point, that's all I have. I want to open it up for any questions. I don't know if people feel more comfortable in the chat. You can put it in the chat or you can just unmute your mic and we'd be happy to answer anything that you have. People are always shy in the beginning. <laughs> So right now I'm not seeing anything. Um, faculty so Vaughn, members, do you have anything that yeah. you wanted to mention? I was just going to ask Vaughn if has have you already started the transfer process yet anywhere, Vaughn? Or I I have not. Uh, uh, Franklin is actually you know where I want to transfer because I know everything. Do I have to apply to Franklin first before I can register for the class or? Do I need, uh, what do I need to do in order for me to transfer? Okay, I, I, I could barely hear you, but I think your question was like, what do you have to do to transfer, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, like I said, my information's there. You're welcome to give me a call. Um, if you feel comfortable, you can just go on our website and towards the top left is a great, big green button that says apply now. You do the application and it'll actually, if you've only attended Columbus State and you give us approval, we'll actually get your Columbus State transcript for you. If you've attended other schools or if you say no, you don't want us to get the transcript for some reason, then you submit the transcript yourself. And it takes us about two weeks to evaluate it. I'll reach out to you and say, hey, let's talk about you know, where you stand and you'll get a, an official evaluation that shows you where everything fits and an equivalency guide that tells you what you can take at Columbus State. Okay, uh, well, the Columbus State is the only college I've been to, so. Excellent. So the easiest route then when you do your application, just yeah. say yes, get the transcript for me and then okay. you'd be done. All right, thank you. And that much. application is free. So you don't even have to worry about paying for anything. Nice. Thank you. Very easy with our partnership. Erica, what's the turnaround time if they hit that button and say, yes, get the transcript for me? Um, we actually get it. Good old, again, here's the partnership, right, Doug? We actually get it within like a day or two, but we do need about two weeks to evaluate it. Now, Vaughn, you're, are you graduating this semester? Is that right, Vaughn? Yeah, well, right now I'm taking... Uh, including your class it's three classes i'm taking and that should be my uh, yeah it should be my last semester okay so i was wondering erica what's the timing like if a student is graduating this semester when should they do this 
Yeah, that's a good question. And I, I should have probably mentioned that. You always wanna start the process one semester before you plan on coming. So Vaughn, right now is the perfect time. Um, okay. And don't wait for those grades that for the classes you're in right now, because if you wait for those grades, you're not gonna have enough time to get everything in order for January 4th. Okay. Um, so just start the process now. We'll grab those grades once they post at a later date and just update to show that you finished those classes. All right, we'll do it tonight. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hey. That sounds great. That sounds great. We I, got I, one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have, I, I get a lot of questions, Erica, and, and maybe this is on the students' minds that have joined us, but financial aid issues, like if they, when they apply for the FAFSA, so does their, fin in that third year, they're actually attending Columbus State, but does their financial aid go to Franklin or does it go to Columbus State? How does that work? So that's another good question and I will explain it, but students, if you're listening, you do not have to remember this. <laughs> I explain it all day, every day. So it's perfectly okay if you have me explain it to you again later. But basically in your third year, your financial aid is gonna be at Franklin. We will give you a form that you'll turn into Columbus State that tells them what you're doing and they will verify how many credit hours you're in at Columbus State. They'll send it back to us and we will um, award your financial aid based on both schools. We always pay ourselves automatically. We give you a refund. You pay the refund to Columbus State to pay for your Columbus State classes. So it sounds like a lot of steps, but it really does work very easy. It's very seamless, yeah. And so like a student like Vaughn, maybe he's, his financial aid is already um, going to Columbus State since he's graduating for autumn semester. So he does, is there a way that he transfers it to Franklin then? Yeah, you just go on the FAFSA website and there'll be a section that says make a correction. Um, and under that you add a school. So you're not actually going to correct anything. You're just going to add another school. Okay. You don't have to take Columbus State off. Just add Franklin and then we'll have access to your financial aid. You can't get financial aid at two schools at the same time, but if we have access to your financial aid, we can award you, and then you can um, you can request your aid for, in Vaughn's case, for spring and summer to not pay out at Columbus State, and then we can pay it out. Okay, that makes sense. And the FAFSA, just FYI for everyone, <laughs> the FAFSA for 21-22 is out, so if you want to be you know, if you want to start early, go ahead and get that done. Did you have any questions, Kelly? Not really. See, I've already applied to Franklin, but I just haven't done any steps past then. I know I have an email from them that I should probably go and look at. I just haven't had the time to yet. Okay, great. Terrific. And you know, um, I actually forgot this, um, but since both of you, Vaughn and Kelly, since you both started the process, we're actually having an event tomorrow um, where if you um, log into our, you should have gotten an email about it. If you didn't, definitely take my um, phone number and text me tonight and I can send you the Zoom link. Um, I think it's from like 11 to two and five to seven. There's like a, a mid-morning afternoon session and then evening session. You do not have to stay for the whole thing. You just have to check in. But if you check in, you actually get a book credit and um, your registration fee waived. So it ends up being about $125 worth to just check in and say hi. <laughs> um, so definitely if you haven't, um, if you haven't gotten that email or you're not sure, just shoot me a text and I can send you that link. And like I said, you you just pop in for a second. Um, we talk about what you're thinking, answer any questions, and then um, you'll have that credit on your account. That actually made me think of a great question. With with books, are they are you guys using eBooks mostly, and are they um, are they included in the tuition? We we've kind of moved to that model. I didn't know if you if Franklin had or not. Doug, did you want to? Take that. We, have, we have not moved to that just yet, but I hope we do in the future. But what we have done is we've worked with a company and we've got a, a, a very low level amount of uh, for each to e, each ebook. So on average, students can pay about $50 per class for e-texts. And it's almost like 
that through the entire program. Great. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when I took a look at some of the the book prices and they're, you know, one hundred and seventy five dollars for a textbook, and it's just like, wow, you know, this is a lot. But uh, you know, we we hope to move to that model in the future. But right now, we we've at least got it down to a, a, a decent level. That's great. Plus, it's nice not to have to fight Amazon anymore. <laughs> yeah, and the link is right in all of our classes. You know, just like yours, they go to the website, they click on it, they get the ebook. Yeah. You know, everything's taken care of. Now, do you guys use Blackboard as well, or do you have a different learning management system? Uh, no, we're using Canvas. Canvas. Okay, I wasn't sure. Okay, right. I see we have another student. I'll just call you P. Do you have any questions? Oh yes, um, I had a question. Um, I I heard that um, like dev classes uh, weren't like able to, and I just had to like, do I have to? Would I have to retake a writing class or like a basic math class or something like that? You you won't have to retake them. It's just that they won't count for anything with Franklin. So probably Columbus State probably required you to take um, you know maybe a developmental class before you could get to like the English eleven hundred. Um, we'll take the English 1100. We wouldn't take the DEB, you know, 099 or whatever it is that's the English before the 1100. If okay, okay. Sense. I understand. <laughs> I can say, does that make sense? Is that Pasquale by chance? Yes, yes. I, th I thought I recognized your voice. <laughs> uh, does that make sense to you, Pasquale? Oh, yes, it does. OK, OK. I just wanted to be sure of it. Great. And have you have you already applied, Pasquale, or? Um, unfortunately, uh, I haven't. But um, I'm thinking about doing it tonight because um, I, I heard that you can do it uh, via like online. I, I wasn't I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. And, and you're, gra you're graduating this semester as well, aren't you? Yes. OK, that's what I thought. Terrific. Congratulations. <laughs> Definitely. I will say all in all, the application took me maybe 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't take very long. It's quick. OK, thanks. That's great. That's great. Anything else? Any other questions? And Pasquale, I definitely check out that $125 credit. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I think I that's a good deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about that. That, that I, you know. <laughs> It, we don't have it all the time. It just so happens that it's tomorrow. So yeah. great timing. And like I said, just shoot me a text and say, hey, I want to do that. And I'll send you the Zoom link tomorrow when I get it. Great. OK, well, if there's nothing else, um, we can probably wrap it up for this evening. I want to thank everybody for attending. Um, like I said, if anybody needs me, you guys have all my information, feel free to reach out. Um, did anyone else have anything they wanted to share? Nope. Okay. Just thank you to Charlotte and John. We sure appreciate it. And we really, uh, appreciate the, the partnership we have with Columbus State. It's, you know, it's, it's very strong and we hope it continues. Great. Great, Doug. Yep. Definitely. And thanks for coming, Kelly and Vaughn and Pasquale. It was great to talk with you guys again. Thank you for having yeah. us for us. Yep. Yeah. Yep. See you in class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the opportunity. Yep. Thank you so much.